Advanced Toolbar Buttons is a plugin that adds new controls and new features to work with Ableton Live. The plugin controls can be individually placed anywhere on the screen. This allows you to create a custom configuration according to your needs. In the plugin rack you can activate the controls you want to use and select its position on the screen by setting the horizontal and vertical position in pixels. Most of the controls have been designed to sit at the top of the live screen, allowing you to create a custom control bar. Let's take a look at the new features that the plugin adds to Ableton Live. It is possible to change some parameters that are only accessible from the clip detail of you. For example, we can change the volume of an audio clip, as well as the transposition, loop activation, warp mode selection, or change the groove assigned to the clip. All from the arrangement or session views without opening the clip detail of you. Global activation and deactivation of tracks. With these buttons it is possible to perform various actions on the solo and mute buttons of all the tracks at the same time. The activation button acts as an unmute button for all muted tracks. But if all tracks are activated, the activation button mutes all tracks at once. And the solos button acts the same as when control clicking a solo button, it disables all active solo buttons. In addition, it is possible to control the muting and soloing of all the return tracks independently of the rest of the tracks. This allows you to quickly mute or just listen to all return effects. Alternative way to move loop markers in the arrangement. Moves the loop region left and right in the arrangement by a time equal to the size of the loop. And when the play follows loop switch is active, and the transport is running, moving the loop markers will also move the playback position. Volume, pan and send controls for the selected track. These controls are only displayed in the arrangement view. The ideal position to place them is above the track list, at the top right. They are useful for not having to unfold tracks to change volume, pan or send levels. New mode to capture and insert scene. By default, the capture and insert scene action inserts a new scene below the currently selected scene. The new mode inserts the new scene at the end of the scene list. This way you don't have to worry about which scene is selected. You can capture multiple scenes and they will always be placed in order at the bottom of the scene list. The plugin also has some controls for one button access to various live actions that are only available in context menus, or via keyboard shortcuts, such as track insert, undo, redo and others. Check the PDF manual on the Advanced Toolbar Buttons website for more detailed explanation of all the controls.